Hey guys, in these first few videos, I'm going to show you how to manually adjust your songs. So I'm going to show you how to manually manipulate your audio to speed it up and slow it down. Now these manual adjustments are super important to beat matching because the better you get at these, the quicker it will be for you to get your songs lined up. And then once you start using the pitch control, the tempo fader in with your manual adjustments, then you can lock it in at that speed. But first you need to know the manual adjustments. And in this first video, we're going to do the manual speed up method. So for this, I have a regular record on one side with audio on it, like an actual vinyl record. And then on the other side, I have a control record and I'm running Serato DJ on my laptop. So I'm gonna show you both actually with a lot of these techniques. So you can see how it works in a software platform and also how you would do it with traditional vinyl. So first with the traditional vinyl, we have the song right here and I'm just gonna play it for you just so you know what it sounds like. Okay, so if you've taken any of my courses in the past, you will recognize this beat because I tend to use it a lot. Uh, so it's just like a broken beat kind of hip hop song, right? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our finger and I like using this record actually to teach with because it has this black ring in the center right here. And this is kind of where you want to put your finger when you're doing these adjustments. And so you can take your middle finger or your pointer or two, or two fingers. I like to use the middle and just press down and keep it in that, like in that spot and press down and push it clockwise. And you can hear it speeding up. You hear that? And you want it to be a consistent speed. You don't want to go, right? You want it to have a consistent speed where it's continually, you know, speeding up at a good pace or staying at that speed if you're trying to keep it at a certain speed. So now you don't want to also forward it like this. This isn't forwarding and rewinding. This is speeding up the song. So just practice and you can see on my finger, you can see the white showing through my fingernail. That's how hard I'm pressing down because that gives you more control over the vinyl itself. If you're just lightly touching it, it might feel good on your finger, but it doesn't do anything to the song. You don't hear any difference whatsoever in the speed. Uh, you can adjust your uh, level of push on the record, how hard or how soft you do it um, to make it go faster or slower. So I'll do it a little less hard down there. Right, and it's not speeding up as much because I'm not pushing down as hard. And if I push down harder, you know, you can see it skipped a little bit there. So it's more aggressive speeding it up. Okay, that's that side. Now let's go over to the software record, or in this case, Serato DJ is running on this side. So we have the control record. And the reason why I wanna show you this is so you can actually see what's happening with the tempo as I speed it up in the software. So it doesn't, it's no different in terms of the manual speed up method, whether you're using software or traditional vinyl. However, this will let you see the tempo speeding up in the software. So it's just this track right here. And I'm just gonna start speeding it up, playing it, house track, different song. And you can see over here, you see the tempo speeding up. It's originally 128, right? So here is the actual tempo of the song. And you can see it's speeding up. And if you do have a uh, software such as Serato or Tractor and you're practicing this technique, do it and then try to keep it at a consistent tempo. So you're speeding it up and try to keep it at practice, trying to keep it at say, if it's 128, try to keep it at 133 or something like that. And then also practice like gradually going up or gradually going down, which actually that's the next lesson, the manual slowdown method. So this is the speed up. Now also I want to take the key lock off so if you remember from uh, any of the software courses, they have key lock in the software, which locks the key. And that makes it so that when you're doing manual adjustments or changing the pitch in any way, uh, it doesn't sound uh, sped up. The key doesn't change. 
uh, it keeps the original key even though the tempo is changing, right? So I'm taking this off only so you can hear it like you could on this side and you'll hear the key changing and you'll hear it getting a higher pitch. So that's what it normally sounds like. And we can go back to the beginning. Can you hear that? So good, consistent. And if you look at my finger, it's kind of getting close to the spindle here. You don't want to do that because then you have like less control. You need to be in that ring area, like I said, on this record right here. So this doesn't have one, but just kind of keep it in this area. And that is the manual speed up method. If you want to learn more, check out the next video.